Hello and welcome to Reasonable. In today's video, we will discuss a claim mostly repeated by Western media around March 2023. According to various media outlets, Russian troops fighting in the war in Ukraine were forced to attack Ukrainian positions with shovels instead of actual combat weapons because of a lack of ammunition. While it's no secret that the Russian military and command has experienced its fair share of failures and embarrassments throughout the war in Ukraine, this particular headline surprised many people around the world. Attacking military positions with a shovel in today's day and age just sounds totally ridiculous and absurd. The shovel in this case would be the MPL-50, invented by a Danish officer in 1869. The MPL-50 has a long history and has been used by military personnel of the Russian Empire, the Soviet Union, and also the current Russian Federation. Now let's take a look at the exact claims made by Western media outlets. Here you can see a headline of the BBC claiming that Russian reservists are fighting with shovels supposedly due to a lack of ammunition. And here is an article of NBC News claiming that Russian soldiers were forced to fight Ukrainians with shovels. And here is Vice News claiming Russian soldiers are attacking Ukrainians with shovels. And here is an article of the New York Post claiming that Russian troops are short on ammo and are fighting with a shovel designed in 1869. Furthermore, many other media outlets such as The Independent, The Huffington Post, and Business Insider published similar articles in March 2023. Now we must determine where this information is originating from. According to the articles and videos published by the media outlets just mentioned, the information comes from an intelligence update from the UK's Ministry of Defence. Here's the intelligence update published on the Twitter account of the UK's Ministry of Defence on the 5th of March, 2023. A few days after, Western media outlets started publishing a large amount of articles and videos about this report, although we were able to find an article published by South China Morning Post and some other outlets that are considered non-Western media outlets. Based on the similarities of the information in articles mostly published by Western media outlets and the intelligence update of the UK's Ministry of Defense, we can confidently conclude that most of the information published by these media outlets originated from the intelligence update. Now that we've covered how this story came to light, we will try to find out if there is any public information available that supports the claim that Russian troops were forced to attack Ukrainian positions with shovels. First, we are going to look at the Wikipedia page of the MPL-50 Spade to see what its history, design, and uses are. According to Wikipedia, the main purpose of the MPL-50 is entrenching. Furthermore, the MPL-50 can also be used as an axe, as a hammer or it can serve as an oar for paddling on improvised rafts, as a frying pan for cooking and as a measuring device, since its length and width are standardized. But here's where it gets interesting. Wikipedia actually mentions that Soviet Spetsnaz units had advanced training with the MPL-50, and that they mostly used it as a weapon for close combat rather than for entrenching. Since the spade is well balanced, it can be effectively used as a throwing weapon. Now, after doing hours and hours of more digging, we were not able to find more relevant articles, interviews, or actual footage of Russian troops using shovels to assault Ukrainian positions. In other words, the report of the UK's Ministry of Defense and the described use of the MPL-50 in Wikipedia is the only useful information we can find. So, is it true that Russian troops fighting in the war in Ukraine were forced to attack Ukrainian positions with shovels? The answer is that it might be true. We can neither confirm nor deny the claim. One thing that is important is that the report actually mentions Russian troops were ordered to assault positions with shovels and firearms, which is quite different from attacking only with shovels. It is plausible that some Russian troops in Ukraine have used shovels as a weapon in close combat environments such as the battle for the city of Bakhmut, although we have little concrete evidence for this. We must also take into account the long history of the MPL-50 in the Soviet and Russian military, and the fact that Soviet Spetsnaz actually have used it as a weapon for close combat. So it is not unthinkable that some regular and mobilized armed forces of Russia have used the MPL-50 as an assault weapon on the battlefield in Ukraine. Again, we can neither confirm nor deny. However, the idea of Russian troops massively using shovels as assault weapons in the war in Ukraine is highly unlikely. The firing rate of today's weapons and the nature of the battlefield simply does not provide a good environment to effectively use shovels as assault weapons. Thanks for watching this video. 
Let us know what you think of our analysis in the comment section, and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos and updates.